So let's create a requirements file for our project in case we need to install our Python requirements at a later date. It's standard practice when working with any Python project to create a requirements.txt file. This is a file that contains a list of all of the Python packages that your application uses and the version number that you have installed. This way, if you need to run your project on a different machine, that could be the live server when you go to deploy it, or just a different developer machine, or maybe you destroy your local Vagrant box and you create a new one, you can use the requirements file to reinstall all of the packages and exactly the same version of each package. That way, you don't need to remember which packages you had installed and you know exactly which version you were using. So there's not gonna be any version issues of newer versions being released and different features and stuff. You're gonna use exactly the same packages and exactly the same version. So let's create this requirements file. To create the requirements file, you need to be logged in to the Linux server. So that's our development server using the terminal or the git bash window. When you're on the server, make sure that you're working on the profiles API virtual environment. If you're not, then just type work on profiles API to work on it. All right, so while you're working on the uh, profiles API environment, I'm gonna type cd forward slash vagrant to switch to the vagrant folder. Okay, so now that we're in the Vagrant folder, we can export our requirements to a requirements.txt file. Before we do that, type pip freeze to see the requirements that we have installed. So pip is the Python package manager that we used earlier to install the Python packages. It has a great feature which lets you list out all of the packages that are currently installed in the virtual environment that you're working on, along with their version. So you can see that it's listed out all of these packages. We have the Django REST framework here, 3.6.2, Django version 1.11, and a bunch of other ones which are installed by default when we create the virtual environment. All we're gonna do is we're gonna type pip freeze again, but this time we're gonna use the greater than sign to pipe this output to a new file called requirements txt so you type pip freeze and then greater than and then requirements.txt what this does is it takes the output from the pip freeze command and it puts it in a file called requirements.txt so hit enter on that you can see almost immediately the requirements file appeared here in our project so now we have that list of requirements for our project and it's stored in our source code. So if we ever need to reinstall the same requirements, we can install it from this file. Okay, so that's how you create a requirements file for a Python project. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next lesson.